fall by the sword and thy mighty in the war. Right, so when your men get dropped off to this war, you're going to become women again. All that tough shit, you ain't going to be on that. That tough Tony shit, nah, y'all going to be women in that day. Yep. Straight up, man. Yeah, because, you know, when, when you have first world amenities, you have the ability to be a fucking guy, man. Yeah, you got the ability to fucking walk around macho. That bitch, you, you, them, you just seen a couple bullet dykes walk past the camp, right? Mm -hmm. If that bitch gonna be tough in the time of martial law, man, fuck, fuck no. no. Well, I guarantee you, any she brother gonna be sucking dick, man. Mm -hmm. I guarantee any brother will probably put to death. Just one brother will destroy all three of them and mop, yeah. mop, yeah. mop, wipe the floor with their ass, man. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Hey, we know because women that look that ugly and not even dainty, they, niggas just gonna use them as food. Yeah, we're just gonna get turned into a, a <laughs> pot roast, bitch. Yeah, nobody won't deal with that. Your, your titties been too saggy and flat when you press them down, bitch. trying to look like a man. Right. Yeah, man. Women are fucking gone. But you know, it's beautiful because the Lord consoled us with prophecy. So we know the shit that we see, we know what the latter end of these people are gonna be. Proud ass women and you know wicked ass niggas, they gonna get fucked up. So they can laugh and joy and have their day th the way they want to now. But when things actually get rough, the position's gonna get changed. You know what I'm saying? We gonna rejoice. That's what keeps us from fucking going crazy. In game. Because honestly, man, if we was like 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 we was talking about that Raphael spirit, man. Yeah, that spirit of Levi. Go clean in, man. Like you had a man of the Lord from the ancient world that come in, he would just start slaying motherfuckers, man. Like all this bullshit, it wouldn't be so. Imagine if King David was extracted. Let's just say we know he was here. Let's just say if he came directly, the Most High ordered a couple of orders from the ancient world, and King David was able to step through with a sword in his hand and go to town off the rip because he knows that this place is not going to be bad. They've been to kill motherfuckers for less. So how much more are these momos out here going for, man? Uh. Going uh. She says, verse 26, and her gates shall lament and mourn, and she being desolate shall sit upon the ground. That's all you women gonna be able to do in that day. Because everything that you esteem to be uh, desirable in this life is gonna be taken from you. Because if you read up further, it talks about how it's going to be taking away all the clothes, all the jewelry, you know, all the, uh, the titty implants. Your boo's about to be deflated from the fucking bullets pretty soon. Mm -hmm. or, or niggas just ravishing you and squeezing your shit and roughing you up. Yeah. You're going to be looking terrible in that day. Oh, man. well, there's a lot of amenities that go out the window when shit hits the fan. The women doing their makeup, all the tampons, the fashion, you know what I'm saying? The cars, death, man. Gasoline. People, people ain't gonna be really, really using cars when shit hit the fan. About a month, month or two in the truck, you ain't gonna see cars out. It's only gonna be military vehicles, man. That's right. People, as far as it is, they're gonna be or, or walking in bands, man. Women gonna be sticking. Their hair, they ain't gonna have the weed. That weed gonna be hanging off their head. Oh, right. man. Yeah. A lot of these chicks that cake they self makeup, if you really look at yeah. them, they don't really look like that. Right. Have right. yeah. ever seen a woman with a bad hair thing? That's like a white shit. woman that didn't wake up and comb her hair, her shit all fucking eyebrows. That's how you gonna see damn near every, yeah. Yeah. every woman. Like, damn, they used to be fun. Why not? Yeah. Because they're not gonna have none of the supplies to, to keep their shit up. They're not gonna have no combs. Yeah. And, they, and now they're gonna be, uh, be available. And see, you women are not built like the other women in the ancient world. The women in the ancient world, they knew how to use their hands to make all those tools themselves. Right. They knew how to make shit to uh, control and keep clean for their, for their periods. She can't even find some fucking eggs right now. She's burning up all types of shit. She has no, no knowledge how to make any food, no knowledge how to make any clothes. So that day comes, yes, it's going to be bad how bad they're going to stink, man. I mean, it's going to be disgusting. That's right. Because yeah. they're, they're not going to know how to clean themselves. They don't know how to make soap. In the ancient world, they knew how to make soap. That shit gotta go, man. That, that, that's First world problems. Damn, bro. Damn, we gotta get out of here, man. Yeah. First world oh. problems. God damn. Look out. What the fuck this is that? This don't even know if it's a dude or a chick. He's walking with a chick. Rainbow earrings. 
Yeah, that nigga built like Tyson Fury, man. All these people are going, man. So, so wait a minute. This is so. Wait a minute. This is what they are rushing to get back to normal for, so they can continue to do this. This yep. is why they stressing people to take the you know what, so they can go back to doing this, right? Yep. I guess it's, this is life, right? And that's the future of uh, the, the, the children of right now that's living in this generation. They're all they're grooming them to grow up to be like that. I don't know if Bill got out on camera, but that was that was some. That was a what just walked by was a undesirable was a, a man that was did a change become a woman and a woman I don't even know what kind of woman you that, that was. You that destroyed to the point. Did. You wait a minute. So so wait a minute. Now give me right. Now the one with the rainbow earrings that was a chick, right? We get that. Right. Now the one on the right was that a chick turned to a dude or a dude turned to a chick? That's a, I believe that's a dude turning into a chick. So wow, men have become that goddamn low to know he's willing to change his sex just so he can become a woman so she can deal with a so-called woman? Mm-hmm. It's still a man, you dumbass bitch. Right. Yeah, like that couple, man. They, that, uh, they both swapped. Yeah. They're, you know. Hey, that's the demon that's pushed on the woman right now, though. They want the most effeminate men mentality that can worship them to the highest extent. That man worshiped the woman so much that he wants to become a woman. Right, it's like right. Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. You know, he got to the point to where he's worshiping the, the, the women that he's dealing with so much, yeah. he wants to be them. So they're willing to accept somebody like that over a masculine man that's standing for you. How about Chanel Shaw? And you know, it's more common for men to, to do that to do than, that. Women, than women. Because, yeah. right. you know, women are woman, so low. But, and a woman can't get the, you know, she can't cut out shit and she can't grow up. Shit. Esau might have make a, he may have made something that probably could grow up, man. Yeah. I wouldn't put it past this fucking devil. Right. But this is the shit that our kids are learning, man. Mm -hmm. Right. That, that's supposed to be all, uh, that's supposed to be the life we're supposed to live. Right. That's yeah. called a healthy, extravagant lifestyle. That's the, that's when, the, when you can tell, I can tell, you can tell the demons on his people, man, they're, they're depressed. When it comes to those T, T people, right? Their suicide rate is about 90%. 90%. Right? Yeah. Meaning, more than half of people that do that, they're going to die, man. Right. They kill themselves, yeah. man. Yeah, the statistics came out. Their, their uh, off themselves rate is higher than Jake was in, cattle, in chattel slavery. Yeah. Wow. Way higher. 90%. <laughs> you know what? Because you know what their underlying problem is? They hate themselves. They know that they're pieces of shit. Right. If you're a man, you want to become a woman because you know you're a weak bitch man. You don't have the balls to be a real man. You know he's a man. He's a <laughs> nigga right here. <laughs> man, that's a straight nigga. Man. Yeah. yeah. You know he got some backwards in the moment. Or vice versa <laughs> for them women that try to change their thing is because they're not feminine enough. And a lot of them bitches be ugly. No man want them. You know what I'm saying? Why is it never like a fine ass bitch she want to be a... Right. You know what I mean? It's always the ugly yeah. bitch. You know what? Because you ugly bitch. Yeah, a lot of women. She got a, she got a ton of fucking kids to the point to where she know no nigga wants to deal with her, so she might as well go die. Yeah, hey, okay. Man, let me bring this up real quick. This is the book of Second Edge, the 15th chapter, and I'm going to start at verses uh, 10. Matter of fact, uh, I'm going to start at like 7. It says, Therefore said that how about she may have a shot? I would hold my tongue no more touching their wickedness which they profanely commit. Profane mm. means what? Outside of the covenant, outside of the temple, man. When you profanely do something, you completely go in love. Like, yeah. it's to the point, this guy is literally going through a whole change to appease that rockhead demon next to him, man. Mm -hmm. right. Then she's gonna smile at us. Right. <laughs> and that's the demon that's being pushed on our people, because that's the perfect example of Esau right there. 100% opposite. Of the most high. That's mm -hmm. why this man has to go in slavery, bro. He has to go in no slavery. No profane person. Yeah. He's, he's got to go. He's go. Because he's pushing that energy amongst our women. So now our women, this is why they desire to go be with these simple ass dread headed niggas so much. Because mm -hmm. those are the most effeminate of our, of our men. A lot of them dudes are the ones that's secretly popping other niggas on the side, man. Yeah, yeah if, you a, if you a Jake man, you a effeminate sim, I, I think you on the low. No, I don't be on Bro, low. a lot of these Jakes, man, they got full blown marriages, mm -hmm. man. Wife and right. kids, and then hey, they leave out for work. They going to pop another dude. Right. <laughs> they, that's what that's in their spirit. Disgusting, and that's what man. these women lust after. Why? Because Esau's in charge, and he pushes that vibration on them. Like, oh, my job, bro, is this wannabe supervisor nigga named Reed. Uh, 
slithery nigga, bro. You wouldn't even know he was a Momo. You can kind of, you can kind of tell because he's a little, a little weird. He kind of got the mannerisms and shit. But if you see him walking through here, you wouldn't even know. He'll yeah. look at you and you would know, like, oh, this song ain't right with this nigga. But just talking to him, he look like a straight nigga. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. This man likes the, you know what? Oh, good, another good example, right? I knew this guy in the world. This dude pulls a lot of bitches all the time. He's got a lot of them on the Instagram page, a lot of followers. He pulls some of the baddest bitches. I seen him uh, a, a video of him or a picture wearing a fucking wig and high heels on stage, simping, like years ago. And he made a statement. He said that if he would have got it, made it on Hollywood, he would suck you know some what to make it. Do that for free, my man. Like your simple ass Brandon T. Jackson, nigga. No, ain't dealing with you. You've already put the dress on, bro. Right. You already mm -hmm. sold out, man. So you can take your United your Israel bullshit and fuck off with it. Yes, right. Somebody yeah, listen to United in Israel. And, and Hak Dika Haka, you simple as hell for even Shit. dealing with that dude. You should have cursed him out. Yeah. Yeah. See, we know you Sakari niggas, you like the fame and the publicity, man. Right. They love that. Because you ain't nothing but a nigga anyway, man. Reading on, reading here, it says here, I will hold my tongue no more is touching their wickedness which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things which they wickedly exercise themselves, man. These guys are willingly going off, bro. Willingly. Mm -hmm. Without a conscience, man. Yep. A uh. bunch of fucking weirdos out here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're, we're the problem, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. But don't, don't say nothing about that, y'all. Why the fuck not? We supposed to call out wickedness when we see it, man. Yeah. Shit y'all supposed to be doing. Y'all ain't fucking doing that shit. Y'all letting shit slide, man. Then when y'all get jacked up out here, then you niggas are looking stupid. Yeah. Yeah. And it says here, Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. We're complaining, man. Complaining means to cry out. We're crying out to the Lord to destroy this shit, man. Martial law can't come quick enough. That's right. We're literally rooting for that day. When yeah. all hell break loose, that's going to be the day that our wings are going to soar, man. Yeah. Because from that point, we're going to be on an incline. Right. Come. We need we need that shit, bro. Every society, like the Lord, look, you got a certain amount of life, you got a certain amount of death. You need death in this society. It's only going to fix the balance, mm -hmm. man, because it's too off balance. Right. These people got to be clamped up, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty sad. They all fucking <laughs> yeah. Hey, the, the scriptures say, man, the Lord mingled up a verse spirit in yeah. Egypt, man. Oh, kind of, yeah. Like that's yeah. that's why you should be mad. Yeah. Because if the most high tell you this is a perverse spirit on this place, you should be pissed off, man. You yeah. should be raising hell. Y'all ain't supposed to be blending in with these niggas, man, trying to be allies and shit. No. We supposed to be raising hell, man. We supposed to be out here just condemning everybody. But you know, we gotta be wise in the spirit. You know, this ain't uh this ain't, you know, 2007 and 8 or 2016, 17, and 18. Uh, you dealt with us in 2018, man. You just get your ass <laughs> condemned on the spot. Yeah, kind of. Cursed out, put curses on you. You might get your ass whipped if you get too close. <laughs> yeah. God. But it's coming back. The Lord going to put that, 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 that real tyrannical, warlike spirit back in us, man. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. You just sitting back and chilling. In the back of my mind, I'm just making a mental list of just what, what the most high is going to do to these people. We even look or well, say something slick to the men of the Lord, we'll let it slide. I'm like, okay. But remember, that's going to cost you. Because it's going right. to say every idle word. Every mm -hmm. idle word. Yep. Man, you know how niggas come fast, y'all niggas fucking fast niggas out here this week. They ain't got to say it, they can think it. Right. These niggas out here being talking that shit. Most high is going to visit that. Mm -hmm. Your woman may curse you out, be weird, how can I keep saying it? Fuck that nigga. Most high here, the angels is there, okay, He's taking notes. Yep. And one day that hammer of judgment is going to come down on you. Go ahead, brother. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, uh, chapter 6, verse 1. Dare any of you, having a matter against another, go to the law before the unjust and not before the saints? Do ye, do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world? And if the world shall be judged by you, are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters? For all you, only God can judge me, niggas. Mm. He said we should judge the smallest matters. Smallest matters, man. That was a, well, technically, that was a heavy matter. Sorry, 
I'm just telling Jake to repair it you're right. It's a small amount of man. They're heavy, but they're small. Because we're yeah. being set up to judge entire nations, man. We're going to have literal nations under our foot in subjection. Right. Then we're going to be judging the two-thirds of our people. Yep. Right. Uh, bro, at that point, when you know when the two Jakes is walking by, y'all should be condemning this people. These are matters that everybody is supposed to be, all the men, the righteous men, if you're a man, how about you shy? If you're an Israelite man, you should be judging the wicked behaviors yeah. and calling mm -hmm. shit out until it stop. But there has been no judgments for a long time. No, no right. niggas have said anything. You know, so then you see us come out here and we say it because of all this vibration Christian churches have put on you. You got a problem with us judging. Mm -hmm. But if, if everybody had did that in the first place, then this wouldn't be in the state of condition that it's in right now. Wait a minute. They say they can't, you can't judge them, but ain't you judging me by saying what I can't fucking do? Right. You see right. the double standard? That's right. Like this fat bitch at work. She's like, oh, you don't eat pork, huh? I said, no, I don't eat pork. It's a candy you eat. That's not the fucking point. I don't eat pork. I don't deliberately eat this shit. Right. Oh, I love my pork. I love my meat. I love Shake Jesus. Woman. Yeah. Jesus. I'm like, Jesus. Jesus freak. I said, that's exactly why you like that, because you're a fucking Jesus freak. Jesus allowed that bullshit there. Right. In the back of my mind, I'm like, man, bro. Man. Oh, yeah. You gotta fucking go, man. But yeah. you disregard every but, law the most. High. But you judging me because I don't eat pork. Right. You see the double standard? Yeah. Right. I mean, don't even make no damn sense to eat pork, man. Yeah, bro. It's an animal that's that don't you don't get as much meat as a cow. You can make it take every other meat can taste just like the shit. Like y'all eating it for no reason, man. You just want to be niggas. They, just, they wanna be fucking Stupid. wicked, man. Niggas Stupid. don't wanna let go of the tradition. Bro, you see this woman, she's over she's overweight, she's about this tall, very loud, pompous. You know what I'm saying? And she ain't done nothing to me personally, but I don't like her spirit. Eventually it's yeah. gonna go there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like I don't like the bitch's spirit. Walk around like she all high and mighty. Uh, you know what? Even speaking on the point, like the bro was uh, telling us about the landfills we see. If this was, if this kingdom was in righteousness, you'd be using the swine as your as your trash to trash. Right? Yeah. You know, if Israel was in rulership, we would have a plethora of, of, of swine, but they would their purpose would be to keep the shit clean. Right. They would eat our trash. They showed a video. Uh, this, this Jake recorded what was going on, what happens all the waste of all the food, and it had shit in plastic bags, and they grind it up in powder, and they said they feed that to, to pigs. Yeah. So that's your natural landfill cleaners right there. Right. Take all these swines that you're uh, you're farming, and, and, and put it, heat them, put them up there to clean that shit up, man. Yeah. What else eats uh, trash? Catfish. We need oh. more catfish and crabs in the ocean. We had yeah. one of this guy, he was a pig farmer. He was he was making the example of how disgusting pigs are, of how they're inclined to eat trash. He had he gives in a hundred percent vegan diet. Like the, 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 his pigs eat nothing but uh like plants and, and nuts and all that, right? Mm -hmm. Natural natural stuff too. So he could supposedly have better quality meat. But he out of nowhere introduced rotten what is it like? I think it was like rotten fish that he put in the pig pen. Yeah. The pigs tore through that shit like it wasn't nothing, man. Yeah. Because right. it's in their spirit. Even right. Though they was raised on 100% vegan. Yeah. Motherfuckers smell that rotten shit. They just. Right. Like, damn, that's what I'm supposed to be eating. Yeah. What the fuck was this at the whole time? Right. Because right. Yeah, cause like, cause yeah, the creature, yeah, man. Because yeah. the creature of a pig, I mean, that's a beautiful creation. You could digest plastic. Right. That's one of the few animals that got a digestive system that can just eat all of that shit, man. Right. Like that? Does they have a uh, powerful stomach acid? Right. It can break down a lot of uh, a lot of different waste. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. 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 That's badass. That's badass blazing. Yeah. I gotta get that green, bro. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> yeah. I might pick one of them up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Jake, man, that's a solid earth right there. They know he got the wear something like that. Man. You might be a nigga from the 80s, man, named Bobby. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I got this big ass raccoon that comes in my house and I call his ass Fat Albert, man. This big motherfucker like this big. He'll pop up in that dumpster, knock the whole thing over, but everything will be empty out of that bitch. You know? <laughs> That's why that nigga's fat. Yeah, right. fine, man. Yeah, even uh, even like the insects, the, the Lord says that we can eat, like the grasshoppers and the beetles, man. They'll walk by a pile of shit to go eat some greens, some oh. some grass or plants. Right. So will a grasshopper, but a roach, a roach will dive straight in a whole pile of turds. But right. you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. the things that we can eat, you know, they're clean, you know, for that reason. You know, and I wouldn't have known that without the internet, but right. you would just had you just would have had to listen to the to the scriptures back in the day, but. Yeah. Yeah, now we know, man. In that right order, they eat some animals eat nothing but vegetation, man. Like cow, that's why it's clean meat. Like, like you notice bottom feeders, they swim at the bottom. Like trout and shit, they don't swim at the bottom. Of the ocean. Right. Like, they can't go that far down. They eat all the seaweed and algae and shit. The good shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, think of a rat. What does a rat eat? Anything. Yeah, anything, yeah. pretty much. A rat can chew that goddamn pipe, metal pipe. They <laughs> chew through plastic wires and everything. everything. Come on, you got them house on fire. I'm fucking rat, man. Yeah, man. But I even realize that even rats don't even eat shit. Mice don't even eat shit. Yeah. Like if you you put a slice of pizza next to a rat versus some shit, he eat the pizza first. Eat the pizza, yeah, right. if, if there's no pizza, then he might eat the, you know, you know. Right. But they have that purpose too, because they eat other little shit that could be garbage. Right. Like, like the, the rotten food, they'll eat some rotten food or uh or bugs, pests, or some worms and bugs. shit like that. That's how I knew I had a little mouse in the house, man. I killed the fucking uh, cricket, man. And I didn't clean him up yet. I come back in the room, the motherfucker was gone. I'm like, I'm yeah. like I know this motherfucker ain't get off and fly off on me. I'm like, oh shit, I got a mouse in here. I just caught one two nights ago. The little motherfucker was in my wall, chewing on the walls and shit. So I set some trap out, man. This little baby like this. And what I found out is that Mice get a, they get very timid and stressed out around the male species. Mm -hmm. okay. Females, a rat will just jump on a female. Is a rat or a mouse will think twice before running across a male. Yeah. When a female, mm -hmm. they don't feel no type of timid towards women. For sure, mm -hmm. you catch women ain't on no level, man. Right. If a mouse ain't scared of your ass. Because yeah. as I was finna pick him up out of the bait, he was shit. You can tell he was trembling and he started shitting. He was, he was nervous. He was shaking. Yeah. To the point he damn near broke his foot trying to get out of the truck because he was that afraid. Right. Uh, yeah. yep. That's why Esau gotta go, man. He's destroyed the whole earth. He destroyed the mentality of the people. He's created the, the weapons of mass destruction. He's nothing but death. Man. Death, man. And like even mice have fucking purpose. And if you actually look at a mice, it's really a fucking beautiful creature. Mice is not, they're not. Now, rat, yeah. that's a different story. A mice. Mice, mouses, they're really not ugly creatures if you really look at yeah. them. They're not really, they're really jerky. They have their purpose, but mm -hmm. even they fucked us. Pets. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't go that far. Because <laughs> mice carry bacteria because the shit they eat, you know, feel right. mice. But if you look at them, they're not even really afraid. They're not even scary. Mm -hmm. Rats, on the other hand, they're not really scary, but a rat will fuck your ass up if it happens to. Like in New York, bro, I saw a video. They was going across the pathway. It was a fucking rat this big just sitting right in the middle of the damn intersection. Yeah. Dude was like, he like, don't worry about it. He ain't gonna do nothing to you. People just sitting there, chilling. Yeah. Yeah. They'll, they'll ride the subway with you in New York, man. They'll yeah. hop, they'll hop right on that bitch. Yeah, hop right on. You. Get off the next stop. Yeah, get off the. <laughs> <laughs> and they won't even fuck with you. With nah, they, they, they so used to back like, the the pigeons are like that too. The the to turtle doves, they're so desensitized to human contact. They just. And they said that mice and rats are very social creatures. That's why people keep them as pets. You got people that have pet rats. They're very social. They actually like being around people. Mm -hmm. They can adapt. Like right now, right, if a rat was to come over here by us, they wouldn't even attack you for real. No. You got to really corner a rat for it to really attack your ass. But like in New York, them big ass fucking raccoon looking rats, they won't attack you. Like you said, they'll hop on a train with you. They won't attack you. Right, yeah. But they cool. You know, they might snip around a little bit. Mm -hmm. You know? Hey, they want to attack you, man. Yeah. Wait, I'm trying to find that precept. 16 and 37. Hold on, Sly. It's a precept, man. When the most high told edges to search out men that be like him. Brothers can find that. Also, it's one in Jeremiah 2. He said you search out men that uh, that, that establish judgment as thou do. I think it's Jeremiah 5. But, uh, yeah. Right. Read it, Second Ezra 16 and 37 says, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. And so when a woman with child in the ninth month bringing forth her son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth. 
and he's slacking at a moment. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and the sorrow shall come upon it on every side. All right, now, remember, like, we had those blood moons. We had a total eclipses and solar eclipses throughout the last couple of years. Now look at the state of the world. Mm -hmm. It didn't take very long. See what I'm saying? So those signs are warnings that the Most High has given us to proclaim it to the people. So when these judgments happen, they're like labor pains. Right. Contractions, and as the baby is getting ready to come forth, the contractions get more and closer and closer. Right. You know? And that's how the prophecies are kicking off. Yeah. Like the baby is getting ready to pop, man. Yeah. That's why yeah. you got wildfires. That's why you got fucking inclement weather. That's why you got uh, uh, hurricanes and tsunamis and earthquakes. That's why you got birds and pigeons flying and washing up on the shore. They said fishes are dropping dead by the millions, man. Yeah, there's a blood moon coming up in here in November 19th. November up. Is it gonna be visible from Kansas City? Man? See, hey, there you go. Yeah, spirit. They may start up. Damn near four, four. Hey, that may start off the dark winter, man. Yeah. Um. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Dark winter, baby. They're talking about it, man. They're talking about unemployment being cut, jobs are being lost, fucking up, people losing homes. They're going up 5% on fucking Social Security. They're taxing uh, certain goods up to 33% now. 33% tax hike on certain goods. So they're basically forcing people out of a living, man. And what people do when they're homeless on the coat, man, they're going to start fucking going crazy. Yep. Then you're going to need the jab to get to the shelters. That's going to force people to get the jab because they want to be out in the cold. Mm -hmm. That's showing you that, you know, as far as the plagues go, they're only going to be start coming faster and faster. You know, right. Just like you mentioned with the woman, her menstrual pain, not menstrual pains, but the, uh, uh, 13, uh, the birth pains, Increments, plus 40. The, inter the intervals of them happen plus 40 minutes quicker and quicker to where she could have burning pains every hour then it's transitioned from every hour to every 45 minutes to every 30 minutes to every 20 minutes to every mm -hmm. five minutes until the baby's born so these things as we get closer to the end the, the amount of calamities and death is going to become way more and more frequent right you know what i'm saying yeah and that's the time we're approaching like especially when the next big major thing kick off Oh, everything gonna start happening very quick. Very yeah. Quick. Bam, 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 uh. To where now, like, I can even just say in the past year to where, uh, you know, this whole C-19 should happen. The Lord made to start to make things happen and things to talk about every day. Man. Yeah. To where, like, you know, you would go back, like, three, four years ago, there was articles come out every so often and shit like that, crazy shit. But now it's like, it's in your face. Yeah. Uh. It's crazy. Remember when we mentioned that uh, that skinwalker? We, we props out on that. And the argument came out the next day. Uh, they have reported sightings in uh, one part of Missouri. So that's a prime example right there. Oh, that's funny you say that because back in like the 18, early 1900s, they said skinwalkers were very common in Missouri. Really? Yeah, they were very common down there by the Lake of the Ozarks and France and this shit. Mm -hmm. They said a lot of people had reported fucking werewolves down there. Yeah. They're protecting people's crops and shit, eat, eat animals dead pigs and so forth. That mm -hmm. was coming down here because Missouri is highly populated with buildings. Man. Like yeah. if you go on certain back roads in Kansas City, that shit don't even look like it should be a goddamn street. It looked like a hiking trail if they right. made it a goddamn residential street, man. You got literally roads in back of Kansas City neighborhoods that's like the widest is the trail right here, man. Yeah. Like literally commercial vehicles have to drive on, but you can tell they just carve it out of the woods and goddamn Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. It's Proverbs uh, 28 5. It says, Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek Yahweh understand all things. That's right, evil men understand not judgment. You know, they don't understand the prophecy. They don't understand the reason why we're calling out homos or uh, Tifa time outs, you know? Yeah. Because they're evil. You know, if a person lacks judgment, then he's not going to understand how to judge prophecy. So therefore, that's why a lot of chicks get in their feelings when they call people out. Like, you can't say that about that guy. How come I can't? Because you lack only you don't have no fucking judgment mm -hmm. uh, This is uh, verse 6. It says, Better is the poor that walketh in his uprightness than he that is perverse in his ways, though he be rich. So basically, man, it's better to be low and humble. Piece of shit like Stephen A. Smith. 
Uh, that guy's a piece of shit. Man. Mm -hmm. Demon. Yeah. And you notice in the last talk when he was uh, berating uh, Kyrie Irving, he couldn't look at the camera. He kept looking down and shit because he knew, you know, he knew what's up. He knew he's he took it back. Mm -hmm. If you usually watch him, he's bold in what he's saying, having confidence, but that wasn't it. I'm trying right. to shame the man for not taking a fucking experimental shot. Man. Right. You know, you full of shit, man. Right. No, you, but you're part of the uh, programming, the part of the brainwashing. You you took money just to just push Esau's agenda. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? You're not saying what you're saying because you're sincere, nigga. Right. You have no idea what it takes to be on the fucking team. Mm -hmm. Right. Not only that, too, man. Like, hey, Kyrie, that's what your ass did. You're trusting that Esau is. You was, you was heavily forward in that damn Illuminati shit. That fucking wicked ass shoe line you came out and stuff like that, man. Now you know you're an Israelite. So you know the suck, but hey, it might be too late for you, dude. Yeah, you, right. you can walk away from it, but is it, is it likely that he's actually gonna fully follow through and quit? Hell no, nah, man. Just like that nigga Dave Chappelle. He, he took off for a while, now he's back. And I watched his stand up last night, man. At first it was funny as shit, but then he started talking about accepting uh, the tees and shit like that, man. Yep. You know what, nigga? I'm gonna say this too, bro. Just come out and say the fucking truth, man. You gotta push shit up and subliminalize it. Don't say it. Right. You know, like Jews. Just say that to angels, man. Fuck what people got to say. If people don't like what you're saying, then hey, they ain't gotta come to your fucking show. That's right. Right. Jake always trying to make shit subliminal, man. All because that's show y'all niggas took the bag. Mm -hmm. I gotta say it this way because they gonna take my daddy gonna take my toys from me. Right. You right. niggas are uh, uh, pathetic little kids. That shit yeah. pissed me off. Let this damn man. cracker fucking intimidate you with his fucking money that ain't worth nothing. Man. Mm -hmm. That shows you how relevant the truth has become. Because even these major outlets, they have to mix some of the truth with what they say. Right. Because the Lord, His doctrine is consuming the earth right now. Mm -hmm. There's no avenue that you can turn where this thing is not punching you in the face. And for people that are ignoring it, hey, it's going to be, okay. Right. You, that means you chose from that, that point to not listen to the Lord. But then the Lord, he's already determined what he's going to do with you after that point, which is going to put you to death. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter whether you ignore us or not, or Hollywood is talking about us. Fuck them. We are, we are the media of the most high, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We don't need any any major outlets doing the heavy lifting for us to talk about us. Right. Us pushing the word, getting this on camera, putting out our videos, and prophesying to the people is enough. We don't need no damn celebrity niggas, oh, we gonna go to the uh, Washington Monument, we gonna go, nah, man. We gonna go before Congress. That's not necessary, man. And where's that gonna get you anyway? You know, you know, you want to know how you can go before Congress? Somebody give me Isaiah 13. Because you know what? The elect are humble individuals. The elect wake up through seeing men in tattered garments because it's not about our appearance. It's not about us being the eloquent and good production and, and the lighting and the camera. No, it's about the words that we're speaking. Yep. Faith coming through hearing. Mm -hmm. See? Well, this is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians 2 and 4. It says, and my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom. Uh, well, we ain't out here eloquent, man. We're not out here as the apostle of the a great war to him. All right, Louis Farrakhan, motherfuckers. Yeah, man. Which is Farrakhan, you, you, we call him Farrakhan. All right, he's a straight clown, man. He, he loves his little enticing words. Yeah, yeah he this got nigga, the talent for that. Yeah, this clown, man, I was up there last week coming home from camp. This nigga gonna come up and give me a new fix and give me a two dollar donation. Yeah. Yeah, man, get the fuck out of here, man. You he out here selling fucking newspapers for this guy. It take you nine months to probably meet him, but yet the so-called Jew come in this nigga's house. And you niggas out working the corners for this guy. Cause they can't meet the minister until like nine months to a year that they join the nation. But yet, fucking I'm like come in your crib, you let him stay there, all types of shit. For sure you be part of the establishment, bro. Mm-hmm. And it says, but in demonstration of the spirit and power. This is demonstration of the spirit and power. It looks foolish because the scriptures say the foolishness of preaching. But nonetheless, this is power right here, man. You know, because, hey, we the one that got the gospel. Nobody else cares about what we're talking about. But that's why it's a beautiful thing because they're going to be without in the coming days. Mm -hmm. They're going to be outside the ark while we're building the ark. This is the ark right here being built. 
Yep. And they don't want to. They don't want in. They talking shit. You know. Okay. It's the book of uh, Isaiah, chapter thirteen, verse one. The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah the son of Amoz did see. Lift up a banner upon the high mountain. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand. Hey, uh, what is the banner that is talking about on the high mountain? Uh, that's the truth. Okay. Well, what, what, what is the truth written in? What is it? The truth is the prophets, man. Yeah. You know? But like the banner the is talking like the banner that stands talking about the scriptures. You know? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Lift up the banner on the high mountain. You know? Because, yeah. like, uh, before it was called the Bible, I think it was named, uh, it was Biblos. I think that was during the time of, uh, when did they name it the Bible, man? I can't remember. But before then, it was basically like this record of uh, yeah. the Stones of the Prophets, man. And they could pack it together yeah. and call it Biblos or the Bible, which means a collection of books. Uh -huh. you know? Yeah, I got a precept for you. Okay. This is Psalm 60 and 4. It says, Thou hast given a banner to them that fear thee, that it may be displayed because of the truth. Right. It's a law. Right. The truth. I mean, the truth is in the scriptures, man. It's being displayed. How is it being displayed? The one thing, we're publishing it by speaking it and we're putting it on a YouTube, man. Yeah. Because a banner is something that, as a slogan, like the courtyard, that's the banner that's being displayed. Everybody can see it. Right. It shows you um, in that game of Ghost of Chisimi, one of the parts is you got to go collect banners from each part of the map. Mm -hmm. And it's like these big, gigantic, long flags. So it's to symbolize your tribe and your heritage, who you are, and what you stand for, which is the scriptures. This is a historical book of our account. You know? And it says, lift up, and then lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain. Exalt the voice unto them. Shake the hand. That they may go into the gates of the nobles. Right, so Brandon T. Jackson, you can live like the Lord, you be doing that right there. They're finding more offensive to see you bringing out on YouTube before you speak to them face to face. Because you ain't gonna get them within 100 feet of the Pope, man. We gotta go to the Pope. The Pope is a Pope of nobody. You don't go to the Pope, you might as well go to Joe Biden or Congress or something, man. The Pope ain't no fucking body. He just a damn pedophile, man. That's what happens to my little boys. He ain't nobody important. What the fuck he gonna do? You think he gonna tell you who you are? You think he's gonna give you access to the Vatican Library and the catacombs to see your people? No. Well, the damn thing. You know, the thing about a standard, him. it's visible. Yeah. That's why it cuts guys that are, you know, uh, Facebook prophets, hey, yeah. Facebook alikes. Um, niggas just be in the crib prophesying. No, a standard is something when, a, when you look at it literal, on a literal sense, it's a, it's a, a banner which an army carries to let it, it, it's visibly known to what they represent, what they're about, who they are. That's us. Now we don't have a necessarily banner for safe, we're showing everybody, but the banner comes to us exalting our voices to let them know what the scriptures is really about, mm -hmm. the Lord's doctrine. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, because, uh, 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 Yeah, so Brandon T. Jackson, man, why don't you do that? See, you even said it. You said, man, I'm just kicking it, man. I'm really... No, man, what was your world? Yeah, you missed those souls. And really, you still in the world. Because yeah. you know you're Israelite. That don't mean you're the truth. He's not having consistent appearances. Well, no, I'm teaching the people. He's got a goatee. He's full of shit. Yeah, he's full of shit. And he's effeminate. He's emotional. And remember, you put on a dress, bro. The Lord don't need niggas that wear dresses. Right. Well, the scriptures you got, thou shalt not put on a woman's garment, man. Mm -hmm. You broke that, man. You were already, you were already symbolizing that you probably been popped. He's and not he, coming straight. He was going to throw a curveball. Hey, look what happened to Nick Cannon. You know what happened to that nigga? He was talking that shit, and then what they do, they, they put his ass right back put in time. Put him at risk out. of losing all his money, and he said, hell no, I ain't going to go. He said, he's right back down with that chain. He can't afford Mariah Carey is scary leaving his ass, man. Uh, not only that, that nigga put on a dress too. Yeah, Nick Cannon, he's a fucking All these dudes, you can never trust a man that didn't get some shit like that. If you go down route, you ain't coming back from that. Also said of uh, that same word for banner is also ensign, 
it is said that he would set up the root of Jesse as an ensign to the people. It's a signaling to come back to the Lord. Because when you used to have banners, I remember I was watching this flick, uh, Kingdom of Heaven, when they were doing the war, it was during the Crusades. But you had different banners that horses would march through the ranks of the army with to let them know, okay, this, this unit has to move over here. They have to do what? It, it determines your conduct. Right. You know what I'm saying? To where like there'll be a certain banner to march through the army to where all the archers gotta start shooting off. You know? So we letting our people know what time it is. It's time to get right with your power. It's time to worship Yahweh Shai unless you perish those nuclear missiles, man. This is the time when it's a warning, it's, it's all of that. Because let's say the, 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 the banner sounds or the signal is to, uh, uh, it, it, let's say it's to, for the archers to shoot, like I made that example, right? But then you got the spearmen come out full force, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get fucked up. Mm -hmm. that's, that's disorder. There has to be order. Did we see it when, as we're setting up this 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 ensign? The beautiful thing about it is that all the elect are the army of the Lord that's chosen to wake up. They're they're falling in line exactly perfect. And then those that are wicked, they're doing what they're supposed to do as well because they just keep being wicked so they can get destroyed. You know. Book of Matthew chapter 22 verse 5. But they made light of it and went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants. Uh, it's the book of Matthew uh, chapter 22 uh, verse 4. Again he sent forth another servant saying, Tell them which are bidden, behold, I have, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fatlings are killed. And all things are ready to come unto the marriage. But they made light of it. And come unto the marriage. That's the end sign right there. He's signaling to come over here. Get over here. The marriage to the land, the marriage to back to be united with our power. Marriage represents unity. That's what a man and woman are, are united again. Right? So who's the woman? It's Israel. The nation. Because a woman is a servant, we're the servants of how why how shot. Okay. Uh, it says, verse 5, but they made light of it and went their ways. One to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them. So we see one guy, he didn't, the, 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 that, that dude didn't do right when the signal was sounded, man. Yeah. So go ahead. Uh, it says, verse 7, But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies, and destroyed those murderers, and burned up their city. Then said the king to his servants, The wedding is ready. But they which are bidden are not worthy. Go ye therefore unto the highways, and as many as ye shall find, bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they, as they found, both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. Even out of a good bunch of apples, you may have one that's right and secretly inside. And if I may say this, the, 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 servants that, the servant that got killed at the first represent the prophets. It represent Israel killing the prophets. The four times, you know? This is the book of uh, Luke. 12 and I'm gonna start at verses uh, 12 and I'm gonna start at verses 2. It says, For there is nothing covered that should not be revealed, neither hid that should not be known. Verse 3, Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in the darkness should be heard in the light, and that which ye have spoken in the ear of the closet should be proclaimed from the top of the house. Tell this truth, go out there, speak. You know? 
Bring out the mystery of the Gentiles. Bring out the mystery of these Christians. You know? you know, shout it out. Tell the people. Tell them what's going to happen before it happens. That's the ultimate job of the prophets. The signs out here, the signs in themselves are prophetic. Like, when you look at these signs here, man, we got to get more signs. We got to invest them more. in the spirit that's if they allow us to fix them up. But, hey, the nuclear missile sign, this is a sign right here. Right. Huh? This is a sign right here, man. Most people don't get it. They don't understand it because they can compass. But nonetheless, man, this is prophecy speaking. And this is going to destroy a lot of you freaking people here in America, man. Deservingly so. That's right. This is verse, uh, verse 11. And when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. So he wasn't prepared for the truth. That's represent these guys that are niggas in the Sakari, niggas in ISUPK. Them the dudes that don't have the proper wedding garment. But they proclaim to be teachers of the truth. They be, oh, I'm in the truth, bro. Yeah, I'm watching y'all shot. The bone gene niggas, man. Yeah. That's them niggas. Go ahead, bro. Okay. And it says, And he saith unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither, not having a wedding garment? All right, how the fuck do you even get up in here, man? You got the proper attire. It's, it's a white party. Your ass got on uh, beige. Right. Get him, fuck yeah. you get past security, man. Yeah. Right. Get him out of here. 